and good morning country house walkers now today I am in Skegness and um, haven't been to Skegness for months during lockdown during the last year hardly at all and I came last week and did a walk um, along the seafront and uh, hope my voice isn't too muffled because I'm wearing a mask because I'm in town and then I've had to come in into town today to pick something off I couldn't get delivered so I took the opportunity because I've never seen Skegness so quiet to come and look around the town and see what it's like <clears throat> so um, my starting point was noses relaxed draw which again as always I'll put in the description and just going to cross the street It is chilly but sunny day, it's 2 degrees uh, centigrade, sorry, which is 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And I thought we'd just take a bit of a look round. Most things are shut down due to lockdown. A few places are doing click and collect. steaming up with the glasses so I can't see very well but hopefully that will sort itself out so it's the end of February and a lot of road work's going on which there always is this time of year but seems to be more than ever, probably down to lockdown. So this is the taxi rank area. We're at the bottom of Lumley Road and we're just crossing over High Street I think my glasses are all dark to defog. <coughs> Just want to show you the railway station. I think I might have to take my mask off because I can't see a thing. Really good time. Skegness was originally a Viking settlement and that's where the name Skegness comes from, the north Skeggy meaning bearded one and it was a medieval, it was a port which sort of the harbour started to disintegrate in the medieval times and by 1520 it was let me show you representation of the jolly fisherman which is the painting of the Victorian symbol of Skegness this frontage is all new in the last few years I've got to put my last back up now because I'm going to go through the station just wanted to see if I could show you some of the Victorian ironwork that's originally part of the station 
this was all 1980, sorry, 1873 when this station originally was built when the when the uh, Victorians decided they wanted to use Skegness as a holiday resort. And uh, sandcastle image there, obviously to do with the beach. It was So as I was saying, it was uh, the harbour and everything had just about disappeared from the port by the 1520s. And then, and then it became mainly fishing and farming land until, until the railway got here, as I just said, 1873. And the early in Scarborough decided, because the gentry wanted to come over this way, that they wanted to, uh, he rented out land to develop Lincolnshire, uh, sorry, Skegness in Lincolnshire as um, a tourist destination. Now the road I'm walking up now, is High Street, but known to many, many visitors and locals as Chippan Alley. And normally, in the summer, this would be cafes, fish and chip shops, and souvenir shops, amusement arcades. that song, I'll try and keep out of it. But uh, everything at the minute is shut. The old pet shop, food store still open. We had um, Cafe restaurant doing takeaways. Sorry, we've got a lot of rattling and noise on the right. Just try and take the mask off, put my mask on. So the area we're in now is the market area. Again all closed up. We'll remain so until 
until things change. There is a plan now to get out of lockdown, so hopefully in the next few months or so, things will change. Now I'm not sure if the precinct is open, you can get into it. So I will put this way and have a look. the wrong way down. Just learning to find out where the hours and everything are in places, especially when you don't go out very often. So the news agents is open. Kitchen, this is open. But, uh, you can see Skegness isn't very big. This is a small precinct shopping centre. And that goes down to the road we just came up on, on High Street. It's the frontage of the building. The village building across the road was once a very large co-op. Um, and then it, it became a Beals department store. Apparently it's going to be opening this year as a shopping complex with all individual things and that's the frontage of Hilda Centre we're very familiar to many it was built on top of the Hildreds Victorian Hotel when that was demolished way back I think in the 80s, 90s I'm trying to remember what's ahead of us Beers Clock Tower and you see a lot of these shops these unfortunately have all become victims of the Covid Many of these shops we're passing now and naturally closed this time of year as their whole this area is all holiday shops. A few of them a few bars that would be open and a few shops. Oh, 
once again ahead of us the clock tower if you've seen my other walk you'll have seen the clock tower i'm just gonna cross over and ahead of us is the tower cinema which is now a small two-screen cinema originally a one-screen cinema with a small arcade underneath it there's now an amusement complex underneath it Summer, this would be absolutely heaving with people. There'd be stalls outside on the road. Your normal sort of British seaside selling of stuff. Lowndes is an old family business which has been around since 1920. I'm not sure if the building and the people who own it still, but they're uh, very much very much an old building. And sadly, about the only one that's left in the town. There used to be quite a few old original span round you can see the Baptist church over there behind the shops you see even in the winter at this time of year when there's the uh, holiday sites aren't open still normally be a few people out, cafes will be open. We tend to get a lot of the locals who are coming into town early, getting things done. So very quiet to what it would normally be. We're just heading back to where we started. So very very much a short walk just to give you a very very quick look. That's a very quiet Spigner. So that's it. Very quick, very brief tour. The centre of Spigner in the middle of lockdown. Please come join me again for another walk. Well, hopefully. I'll be back in my comfort zone and back in the countryside or on a beach somewhere. So thank you. I look forward to you joining me again. So take care. Look after yourselves. Keep safe. And I will see you again very shortly, I hope, on one of my walks. Bye.